the ultimate Windows utility. And this is something I've created over several years. Look at this. This is the new layout of it if you've used it in the past. I have installs, which is completely revamped. It all uses WinGit now. System tweaks right here goes and does that. I've added an entire undo section built right into the tool. So if there's something this tool does that you don't like, you just click undo and it's gone. I also added a bunch of fixes. So if you use somebody else's debloat tool and it messed up your system, well, here you go. One click, it'll fix your phone app. In one click, it'll enable lotion, lo location tracking, clipboard history. The, the list goes on right there. And then finally, we tackle Windows Update. So let's get into this utility it's all free it's all open source and you can see all of that right here on github if you want to review any of the code it's all right here if you have any issues come to the github put an issue in i went through 50 issues in the past week cleared all of them out relabeled these if there's something in there that some problem someone has i'll go ahead and tag it and commit it also, pull requests. I've had some geniuses contribute to this project. Uh, I would say amazing things I haven't actually done through a WinForm script like this. And a lot of it was just community members contributing through pull requests. So a big shout out to everybody that is on the page here. All these contributors. We got seven so far. Oh, man. Big shout out to you guys. But with that, let's get back to the script. And I'm going to walk you through how it works how to use it. First off, I'm going to put you to this old page. I went ahead and updated it. Originally, I made this in 2020, but since it's 2021, I went ahead and just kind of slowly been chipping away and adding bug fixes and things that people have run into. To run the script, you first would go copy to clipboard, right click your Windows key, and I'm on Windows 11, so mine says Windows Terminal with admin. If you're on Windows 10, it's going to say Windows PowerShell with admin. Just click that, it'll launch into PowerShell. You do another right click, it's gonna paste what was on that page and launch it. Now right here, this is a new feature that's added in this update. I implemented WinGit, which is Microsoft's package management system. So you can install a whole bunch of packages really fast without having to go through installers or any of that business. So let's go over to our debloat tool right here and, and start installing stuff. So there's three different image viewers. This is mainly just from community members contributing. Image Glass is one of the biggest ones that uh, a lot of people love in the community. It's all open source, it's all free, and it works a lot better than Windows Photos. So I just went ahead and installed it. You can see kind of in the background what all is happening when you do that. And if we click here, go to All Apps, come down to Image Glass, and you can see image glass right here where you can actually edit set to wallpaper you can do a lot of cool stuff with image glass fantastic editors my choice but i did go ahead and leave the old legacy ones obviously we have our browsers brave browser firefox google chrome now the top two windows terminal which is i'm using in the background highly recommend power toys fantastic tool i did a video on power toys i will leave up here a great addition to windows 10 and windows 11 is the usage of power toys through here we have a couple options for video players vlcs what most people will like a media player classic i am using an up-to-date fork a lot of people say this hasn't been up to date in quite some time there's been maintainers of it and i am using a recent fork so you can install that if you still love media player classic if you love VLC, use that. I don't care. Uh, 7-zip for your zip files. And then we got VS Code. If you don't mind the VS Code with Microsoft Telemetry, use that one. Or if you want the open source without the telemetry, we got Codium now. I added that. Notepad++. And then everything search. A lot of people were complaining about changes with the actual search feature. Or if you disable and rip out Cortana, a lot of times it'll break your search in here. So it just depends on what you're doing. If you click this button, I would highly recommend putting everything search so you could search your documents. Or maybe if you'd just like to disable Windows indexing, everything search is a great one from Void Tools. And then you pick your PDF viewer. Uh, we have Adobe Reader, which is most people use in the market, but a lot of people said, hey, you need to put uh, Sumatra in there because it's an amazing PDF viewer. It's free. Uh, people should be using that instead of Adobe. I'm like, well, 
anything to get away from Adobe, I'm for. So I went ahead and added that as an option. Now getting to our essential tweaks, I've broken this out quite a bit. Uh, I usually just put everything in the essential tweaks right here it runs O and O shut up that you can see it downloading in the background here and it will download and apply the recommended tweaks automatically to make more security and privacy it'll disable telemetry all these different things uh, remote assistance storage sense a lot of features of windows that are just bloat and this really kind of deep bloats it one thing i did this revision is i did remove any messing with the Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store, anytime you start ripping out apps, it's just not a great experience. So I highly recommend Windows 10 or 11, jumping on here, going into your all apps, flip through here. If there's something in here you don't like, right click, uninstall. Uh, so I did not make that uh, automated process, mainly just because I got a lot of hate mail about, hey, you uninstalled Spotify or you uninstalled this app I installed through the Microsoft Store. And I'm like, eh. All right, so I don't even touch the Microsoft Store anymore. But I do recommend you go through and remove a lot of those apps that it does install by default. And then the, the other things here, I hate Action Center, which is over here. It's like a notification center, and I always disable it. So that's one thing I always do. Disable background apps. I left this off because it will interfere with a lot of different applications. Probably the biggest thing that I use is WSL. So if I go into WSL over here and launch into like an Ubuntu instance, a lot of times it would shut this down because it's considered an app from the Microsoft Store and it can't run in the background. So that's why I go ahead and left it as an option. I don't usually click it, but Sometimes if I want to really watch my system resources and I definitely don't want to use any Microsoft apps, I'll go ahead, disable it. But if you want to re-enable it, you can click it here or just do it through your settings. And then this edition and update, I went ahead and combined Cortana and Windows Search into one. So if you want to get rid of Windows Search and Cortana, they're one in the same, really. If you disable Cortana, it messes up Search. Or if you disable Search, it messes up Cortana. And it's best just to either rip them all out and not use built-in search or leave them be. I, uh, the choice is yours. If you, or if you just want to try it out and disable it here, you can always re-enable it over here. Uninstalling OneDrive. A lot of people hate OneDrive. You can see it down here. It's hard to get rid of. I made it a one-click. Just should disappear on you. So it's gone. And uh, that, that should go ahead and complete. Remove registry keys and the actual... OneDrive itself, so it shouldn't come back. And there it is. It's all disabled and gone. However, if you want to reinstall OneDrive, I made that a one-click process as well. So we just click here. OneDrive never really leaves the system. It's actually integrated into Windows. A lot of people don't realize that and think they need to re-download it. That's incorrect. It Even when I do remove it, it's never really removed. It's just kind of sitting there waiting in the wings. Uh, but it's just a little setup file that's built into the Windows directory. So it'll actually go out. It does take a couple seconds, and then we should see a little progress bar pop up here. Now, there is one other thing uh, besides like the tray icons, a couple little preference things people wanted. I went ahead and said, hey, a lot of people like to hide tray icons because they have a gajillion tray icons. In my opinion, you need to start removing and uninstalling a lot of the bloat, but some people like to run with like 20 or 30 tray icons, which is bonkers to me. However, if that's you, just come up here, hit hide tray icons. It will group all the icons like the default stock settings. A lot of people ask for that. Enab enabling clipboard history. I don't like it for security purposes. I like to leave that disabled by default. And also I like to disable location tracking by default, but some people actually use the Maps app and things like that. With that said, that's about this entire toolbox right here, but Windows Update is another thing. I never disable Windows Update. I want to make that very clear. I say you have to have security updates. I always I made an entire video about security updates. I highly recommend you check that out. But uh, the gist of it, the too long didn't watch of that video is this sets all your group policies to how I do it in a business to where it'll download all security updates four days after release. It will decline all feature updates for three years, meaning it's not going to update your system out of the blue. It's going to just leave it alone, only install the absolutely needed security patches for ransomware and other things that come out. So 
I always recommend people coming in here hitting security updates. And then let's say a feature comes out that you're like, oh, I have to update to the latest and greatest, or I want that. By all means, hit default settings. Now, one other thing here is I made an undo all button. This rolls back every essential tweak. This just says, hey, I don't like any of these tweaks. I want to just go back to stock settings. And you might be thinking, why would you want to re-bloat your system up? Or why would you like to re-enable spying and telemetry and that type of thing? I'll give you one, Windows 11. If you want to get on the Insider build, I had a couple people message me going, hey, used your debloat script, but I can't get on it because telemetry is disabled. Hit undo all, log into the Insider build, and then go ahead. Get on Windows 11, and then you can rerun the script and do the essential tweaks again. It doesn't matter anymore. So uh, just know that that's a good way to undo everything here. And on top of that, at the very beginning of this script, it does create a restore point. And if you type into sister restore, you can actually come into the restore points and look at this. And we'll just do that. And then you can see we have a restore point for today. So we could easily just hit next and restore directly to this point. So if you do run this script and it messes up a whole bunch of stuff, you have system restore and you have all the undo options right there along with a lot of the break fixes from community members and people leaving comments saying, hey, I hate your guts, I hope you die, but uh, because you broke my your phone app. So thank you for that comment because it told me, hey, the your phone app does not work after doing this. So that's a good fix for it. So keep leaving constructive comments, even if they're kind of negative and a little bit hatey, I can take it. I just wish they were all constructive. That's the only stipulation I have for all you guys out there. Now, before you go, if you like this video, you like the script, hit the like button. That'll help me know to keep developing these types of things for you. And let me know down in the comment section anything that doesn't work or submit it on GitHub. I would appreciate any kind of feedback I have. It makes it better for everyone. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.